Hey everyone, I'm Vicky. Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. Bitcoin. Investing in Bitcoin. I invested in it on November the 18th last year and it has gone insane. If you've been reading about it in the news recently or you already know about Bitcoin, you'll know that it has just gone through the roof in terms of value. It's crazy. It kind of makes me wish that I bought more when I did buy my Bitcoin, um, but I tried to keep it sensible, so I only bought a tiny amount. But I brought Bitcoin up on my Instagram page a few days ago and people were asking loads of questions about it. So I thought it was worth doing a video just to discuss what it is, how much I've bought, how much I've made, um, where I bought my Bitcoin and just like the whole process involved in it. So I purchased 100 pounds of Bitcoin on November the 18th. Now I didn't get exactly 100 pounds worth because the company that I bought the Bitcoin through took about three pounds something off um, for their fee for processing the transaction. However, I used a friend's referral link which meant I, get, I got seven pound 41 of Bitcoin on top of that. So in the end, I ended up with just over a hundred pounds worth of Bitcoin when you factor in the fee that was taken off and the little bit of referral money that I got for using my friend's referral link. And my friend also got £7.41 as well. So I started off really, really small. I decided with my investment in Bitcoin that I would not invest anything that I wasn't prepared to lose. Okay, so what is Bitcoin? I'm going to try really, really hard to explain this to you guys, but I'm also going to link to a few really good guides about Bitcoin that explain it much clearer. Basically, it is virtual currency. So it's currency that you can't physically hold, you can't physically see, unlike, say, gold or actual money. Um, it's held in an online ledger. It's not affiliated to, like, any governments or anything, or countries or anything like that. It is a currency that is completely online, known as a cryptocurrency. So technically, it's not legal tender, but Bitcoin has just shot up in popularity. So it began back in 2009, so like 12 years ago, it's 12 years old now, um, by someone who no one knows exactly who they are. There are like there's speculation online about what this person's name is, who they actually are, but no one actually knows who started it. Um, and it just grew in popularity and because people were kind of waiting for Bitcoin to shoot to the moon as um, Bitcoin fans say everyone is just kind of hoping that it will make them a millionaire you've had really sad cases where people have um, like you know remortgaged their homes in order to put money into Bitcoin and they've ended up losing everything so um, there's a lot of sad stories around investing in Bitcoin but there's also like some ones where people have really cleaned up and they've become millionaires because they invested in Bitcoin at the right time and even with a small amount of money they've managed to make millions with their Bitcoin investments so it's really, really interesting. It's a really, really fascinating story. Um, but it's it's like one of those things where um, no one can predict where it's gonna go. A lot of people, a lot of experts in Bitcoin will talk about, well, I think it's gonna do that and I think it's gonna do this and it's, it's, you know, it's only gonna get bigger and if you hang on for another two or three years, it's gonna be great. But the reality is no one actually really knows what is going to happen with Bitcoin. And that's why it's basically like, gambling with your money. So at the moment, one Bitcoin is worth $41,000. I'm gonna do this in dollars because a lot of the value for Bitcoin comes through in dollars, okay? So at the moment, one Bitcoin is worth $41,000. If you go back to just a short while ago, just a year or so ago, it was worth $4,000, okay? So that gives you an idea of how insane it's gotten. So at one point in 2017, it got up to $20,000, and then it had a big, big crash. Um, and then since then it's kind of been edging its way up but just in the last three months or so it's just rocketed upwards. Now there's a few reasons for that. One of the reasons is that PayPal, um, you probably have a PayPal account, um, they're the like on online um, account that you can use to pay for goods through with all sorts of brands like tons of brands use paypal i would say the vast majority of my transactions these days are done via my paypal account paypal now is allowing its users to buy and sell bitcoin from their paypal account okay so that kind of legitimized the currency a little bit and that like boosted confidence in it so that is one reason it's not the only reason but that's one reason why it's gone a little bit insane so i'm going to talk to you guys about how much bitcoin i bought and how much that is worth today now as we speak today it is monday the 11th of january um bitcoin had been on a crazy crazy rise for a few days but now it is just steadily going down 
Um, so it could be that it's just kind of leveling off and returning to a bit of a more comfortable value. It could be that it's going into like free fall. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with it? Um, so as we speak, the amount of Bitcoin I have is worth £196.51. I bought £100 worth. You remember, I bought £100 worth. It worked out that I ended up with just over £100 worth. So basically my money has very nearly doubled as we speak today. However, it more than doubled if we go back to where it peaked. So the peak value for my Bitcoin was on the 8th of January. And on the 8th of January, my Bitcoin was worth £230.91, pence, which is just insane. When you think about like what a bank interest rate is, um, I mean, it's like negligible at the moment, isn't it, given the current situation? So when you think about that, it's kind of like, oh my God, like you've more than doubled your money in less than two months. Like, wow. But it's basically like gambling. This is my issue with it. Um, buying into Bitcoin is not a sure thing. Um, we have no way of knowing where it's going to go next. Is it going to keep going up? Is it just going to crash down? Am I going to end up with absolutely nothing at all? Um, so it's really one of those things that I wouldn't say that I recommend you do. I would say that if you read plenty about it, research it, decide that you want to do it as a bit of an experiment, as a little bit of fun maybe, then like go for it, but only put in what you're prepared to lose, <laughs> which is what I've done. I sort of thought about like, well, how much would I like be okay with losing? And I'm not really okay with losing a hundred pounds, but I can, you know, I can just about get my head round if that hundred pounds goes all together. So what I'm currently considering doing with my Bitcoin account, just because it is in a little bit of a downward trend, is withdrawing my original hundred pounds and then just leaving the rest, the profit that I've made. So at the moment that profit is about like 90, about 90 pounds say, leaving that 90 pounds in. So I'd get my 100 pounds back, yay. Um, I haven't lost out too much. I mean, I've had to pay a fee to Coinbase where I bought the Bitcoin in order to um, like start set up the account and get my Bitcoin. So I've had to pay a fee, but if I take my 100 pounds back, then like I'm, I'm neutral basically. Everything from here on would be just profit. So I am thinking about doing that. I've also toyed with, well, do I just, cut like you know just take it all out just say that was a fun experiment i'm done with it now i don't want to risk any more um losing this money if i can possibly recoup it so i'm just sort of toying with that at the moment whether to just keep it in or um take it out or take half of it out if you're sort of on the fence about buying a bit of cryptocurrency and getting involved um as i said i just really really want to emphasize i would not put anything in that you're not prepared to lose <laughs> um, because it is just so volatile. And even today, I've just been checking the news about Bitcoin. Even today, the um, Financial Conduct Authority in the UK has warned people about the risks of putting your money into Bitcoin. It basically says it involves very high risks with investors' money. If, in if consumers invest in these types of products, they should be prepared to lose all their money. So. That's what I just said, basically. If you're gonna put your money in Bitcoin, be prepared to lose it. Don't put anything in that you're not prepared to lose. Um, if you wanna do it as like a little bit of fun, put like what you can afford to lose. So I put in a hundred pounds. As I said, I'm not happy to lose a hundred pounds, but it's not gonna be a complete disaster for me financially if I do lose that money. I really just wanted to do it as a bit of an experiment. I had friends that had spoken about Bitcoin who had said, you know, like I've had this money in Bitcoin for a few years and like now my money is worth like so much more than it was. So I just wanted to like, I just thought it'd be interesting to see, actually see for myself what I could do with a hundred pounds of Bitcoin. Quite honestly, if money is tight, Bitcoin is not gonna be the solution to like any financial problems. In fact, it could make them a whole lot worse. So um, it's a really interesting topic, I think, and it's definitely something that's like worth reading about and exploring a little bit more if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, but I just, I really, really want to issue a huge amount of caution to you if you do decide to go ahead and buy a little bit of Bitcoin. I bought my Bitcoin through Coinbase, which is an online trading firm that lets you buy and sell cryptocurrency. Um, they're a proper company, they're a reliable company. Um, in order to set up my account, I had to provide them with my details, my name, my email address, and my actual address. 
Um, I also had to provide them with um, a picture of my ID, so they'll take a driving license or a passport, and that's just to confirm your identity and your address. Um, and then I just had to wait a few days for it to verify, so you may wait the best part of a week for your account to be approved by Coinbase, but then once it's approved you can just go in and buy your cryptocurrency and it is a super duper easy process, like really really easy, you just say what you want to buy and how much you want to buy and that's it. And then you get a dashboard that looks like this. Okay, so even as we've spoken the value of my Bitcoin has completely fluctuated, it's just insane. So as you can see it's currently worth £200.97. and pence. So when I want to check the value of my Bitcoin, I literally just log into my Coinbase account and I can see a little summary of what my portfolio balance is, how much is it worth, and I can also go back over previous dates and I can see how much it was worth right back at the start when I bought just about £100 worth and I can see it going up, going down, going all around the houses um, right up until right now when it's just lost about 40p of value in the last minute since I've been talking to you. And so yeah, it's kind of insane watching it fluctuate, but it is very, very interesting. And just to say, by the way, I don't actually own one whole Bitcoin. I own 0 .0 0.0075 of a Bitcoin. <laughs> if I did own one Bitcoin, one whole Bitcoin, I would have $41,000 right now. If I had bought Bitcoin, £100 worth of Bitcoin, 12 years ago when Bitcoin like was first launched um, by a person who's actually unknown, no one actually knows who created Bitcoin, but if I had bought £100 worth of Bitcoin 12 years ago, I would be a multi, multi, multi millionaire. And that's one of those things where, you, where I'm like, damn, like that's kind of hard to get your head around. But hey, that's that's the game of investing, isn't it? A lot of it is um, a little bit of a gamble. Okay, guys, I hope this gave you a bit of an idea um, about Bitcoin, um, how to buy it, like what it's doing at the moment. And I hope it's also given you like something to think about. If you are thinking about buying Bitcoin, I hope it's given you a little bit to think about just in terms of like whether it's a good idea for you and whether it's a good idea right now, particularly as it seems to possibly be at its peak. Um, and as to what I'm going to do, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cash out, um, take my investment back and um, leave the rest in or not. So I'm just contemplating that as we speak. Um, if you have any ideas on what you think I should do, then please leave a comment in the description below. Okay, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you on the next upload. Bye!